as people start coming to Cardano, um, as like, you know, the, the markets start finding more robustness over the next, you know, 12 to 18 months as we all um, are, are sort of looking forward to how do we capture users um, in, in, in the most efficient way? How do we get users to feel Cardano when they're out in, out, out in the real world, right? Like uh, one example we use like for, for, for Cash App is like, you, you know, you're out to dinner and, you know, you guys get dinner and you guys get the check and, you know, you've got three friends and like, okay, we got to split the bill. So you pull out Cash App and, you know, you can take a picture and um, split the bill that way. And doing all that with your handle, doing all that over Cardano, and then having an on and off ramp for USD right through an application on your phone. Like, that's how we can see we can onboard tons of people to Cardano. Get them, get them to understand, like, this is, this is literally just a financial app that you use every day. You know, so many people use PayPal, Venmo, Zelle cash app um, and to have an equivalent that gives them exposure to blockchain is is what we're looking for uh what's up Ada nation welcome to dap century home for everything blockchain and crypto free here to my right i've got papa goose one of the members here from the official ada handle team welcome in man how are you i'm doing very good i'm not gonna i'm gonna correct you real quick it's just goose papa goose is my father uh, he's sitting at the booth over there, so just goose. I didn't realize that there was a difference. <laughs> I, I apologize. Yeah. Um, you represent the Ada Handle team. I've covered you guys plenty of times here. It's crazy how quickly time flies. I remember sitting on the couch at Rare Evo back at uh, Colorado. I remember that vividly as well. Yeah, and since then, you know, a lot has happened. Um, I'd love to dive into, you know, what Ada Handles is very briefly, and then we'll jump into subhandles, um, personalization, um, renting, etc. So. Uh, can we just get a brief overview of what handles are for anybody who's maybe just hearing about them for the first time? Yeah, of course. So Ada Handle is an NFT powered naming convention on Cardano. Um, what it specifically does is it takes the long cryptographic hash, the 32 character random hash uh, that's mandatory for transactions on Cardano, and it simplifies it into human readable form. So essentially think Cash App for Cardano, wherein Cash App takes your routing and account number and ties that to a cash tag. Uh, it's relatively exactly the same. Now, as, as you know, Fried had said, since 2021, that's existed as a product line. Since then, we've built a lot of cool things. Um, you know, he had mentioned a couple like sub handles, personalization, um, things out on the horizon like renting and, you know, um, other features as well. So I'm definitely excited to talk about those two. All right, I think the one that's coming up at least the closest might be virtual handles. Now there's two types of them. Can you break down each type in sort of the use cases or benefits that holders can use them for? Totally, yeah, great question. So um, the sub handle feature set uh, will be coming out hopefully here in the next couple of weeks. We wanted to get it done before Rare Evo, but you know how these things go. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll get sub handles out. Now sub handles, are a way for businesses and people, anybody who holds a handle, to form a um, organizational makeup for some sort of composition that they're looking for within their own framework. So for instance, a business who is maybe looking at to better organize their employee structure would mint subhandles to their root handle business. For example, Book.io, right? They have the Book.io handle and they want all of their employees to have a more efficient payroll process. So they're gonna make, you know, employee one at Book.io and employee two at Book.io, so on and so forth, um, and, and thus streamline that process, right? So you have an organizational, um, an organizational composition that exists for businesses, and you can also do so um, as an individual, right? Like if I say, say I have family members um, or children that I want to get onboarded into Cardano and like, um, I want them to be a part of the ecosystem. I would do, you know, if I'm Bob and I have the Bob handle, you know, I do Bob's kid at Bob. Um, and you know, now I have this sort of familial structure um, where all of my children have, you know, this parent child relationship with my root handle. Um, and so with that, there's two different types of sub handles. Uh, one being the virtual sub handle, which allows the root handle owner to have more ownership and control over the subhandles, um, things like revocation, things like modification, um, and things like expiration. Um, so this allows you know the root handle owner to you know be able to take control a little bit over their, um, for instance, like how I mentioned, um, an organizational structure for employees. Say an employee leaves, 
um, you know, they're able to, you know, take back that handle essentially um, by revocating it. And then they, at some point they can, you know, you know, remint that subhandle for a new employee that shows up. Um, so use cases like that. And then you have the NFT subhandle, which acts very much the same as a primary handle. Um, once the once the user mints it, it completely belongs to them um, and they have sole ownership of it. Now, you mentioned that we should be getting this hopefully in a couple of weeks. Um, can you highlight, you know, how the actual minting process will work? Um, I was speaking with Conrad earlier. He mentioned, you know, um, a portal that you guys will be hosting with and other ways to be able to tap in using other authentication methods to mint some of those handles. Yeah, so so the primary method is, for instance, if I have the goose handle, you would go to handle.me slash goose within my portal. If if I allow people to mint sub handles from the goose root handle, if I allow that, every every root handle owner will have the option to say, I either do or I don't want people to mint sub handles. Um, if I do, they'll go to that uh, URL. Once they get there, they'll be able to either mint a virtual or mint an NFT sub handle straight from my page. Um, we were, we're also working with like wallets, for instance, because um, wallets may want their new wallet users to have an easier process of getting a, an account set up with them. So they would go to like Uroi, for instance, we're working with Uroi and, um, you know, and they, and they go to the ADA handle portion of the Uroi wallet and they go and mint the sub handle directly from the wallet. Um, so an easy streamlined process for people not having to jump from application to application. Now, will there be any fees or costs associated with minting subhandles? If so, can you break those down? Yeah, great question. Um, so yes, we, we will charge a fee. Um, being that it's the bear market, being that um, you know we're sort of launching into uh, a, a, an environment that isn't necessarily frothy, um, that isn't necessarily uh, robust, we're gonna launch at, at extremely low prices. Um, and then the root handle owner, they will always have the discretion to set their own prices. Um, so essentially every root handle owner um, will be able to monetize their own handle however they see fit, right? So if they see tons of value in their root handle, they can set whatever pricing tier they want for their sub handles. Um, if they want to go the route of, you know, um, sort of pro bono and they want to, you know, allow people to mint sub handles for free, totally up to them. So, so we leave, we leave the, uh, the power of, of monetization and financialization up to the root handle owners, you know, completely by their discretion. Now, you mentioned a couple of great examples. Um, I'll use the company example for, for, for a second there. Obviously, a sub handle is great for employees, but we know that employees don't work at a particular job forever. Can you break down the process of how people could potentially get rid of sub handles or delete them for lack of better terms? Yeah, another great question. So, so say I'm a root handle owner. Um, I would go into my handle.me uh, root handle settings, into my, into my sub handle settings. Um, within the sub handle settings uh, criteria, I'm gonna have a bunch of different options about how I want to, um, how I want the sub handles that have been minted to, to work essentially. And within that, um, you'll be able to go through all of like a list of sub handles that have been minted, um, look at their expiration dates, say, okay, you know, this, this employee may be leaving in the next six months. I can set like a six month expiry date after that six months that that sub handle no longer exists within the contract um, will thus be added back to the supply and then can be reminted at a later date. Now, I feel like we sort of nailed a lot here about sub handles. Um, what else on the roadmap? I know that there are potential, or at least there were potential talks about being able to rent out your NFTs. Um, what else comes next? Yeah, great question. So we have really exciting things on the horizon, um, at least I think so personally. One thing that's been being built in parallel to these things, um, in fact, we've, we've kind of had contract work being done by Sunday Swap, Pi's been heading it, is our decentralized minting uh, structure. So the minting engine itself for handles and sub handles um, and, and, and basically making that a decentralized framework. Um, we, we've taken the SIP that KTORS has come out with, with the, uh, with the Merkle trees and instituting that into our own minting engine. So we're very close to launching decentralized minting. Um, so, you know, I know that's been a, that's been a sort of like a, a critique of Ada Hendo for a long time is that it's not necessarily quote unquote decentralized. So once that, once that's finished, everything about the protocol, everything about handles will be completely decentralized. So, so that's an exciting thing for us. 
Um, in terms of like a product, you had mentioned peer-to-peer -peer renting, which I know two years ago, sitting on the couch in Colorado, I did mention it is still on the roadmap, um, but has been pushed back in terms of like strategic roadmap. Um, so we have two things that we've been, that, that, that are on the immediate horizon. One is um, a proposal that we just got funded, not this last round, we didn't participate in this latest round, but the one before that called Handle Chat, um, which is handle to handle encrypted messaging. Um, so that one's gonna be super exciting. We still haven't dived deep into getting that done. We still have those other proposals like sub handles and decentralized minting um, that we're going through and finishing up. Um, but we will be participating in this next fund, um, fund 13 um, with our handle pay application. Essentially will be the mobile application equivalent to Cash App for Cardano. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll likely have um, strategic partners to handle the wallet, the peer-to-peer -peer paying part. Uh, likely have partners to handle the users having exposure to other assets part directly through the application itself. Um, but the main goal there is as people start coming to Cardano, um, as like, you know, the, the markets start finding more robustness over the next, you know, 12 to 18 months as we all um, are, are sort of looking forward to how do we capture users um, in, in, in the most efficient way? And in our opinion, like how, how do we get users to feel Cardano when they're out and out, out in the real world, right? Like uh, one example we use like for, for, for cash app is like, you, you know, you're out to dinner and you know, you guys get dinner and you guys get the check and you know, you've got three friends and like, okay, we got to split the bill. So you pull out cash app and you know, you can take a picture and um, split the bill that way and doing all that with your handle, doing all that over Cardano and then having an on and off ramp for USD right through an application on your phone. Like that's how we can see we can onboard tons of people to Cardano, get them Get them to understand, like, this is this is literally just a financial app that you use every day. You know, so many people use PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, Cash App, um, and to have an equivalent that gives them exposure to blockchain is is what we're looking for. Yeah, that's next level. I mean, you've hit on quite a bit there. I think one that I'm actually really excited about is the handle chat. I can think of so many opportunities, especially from like a stake pool operator's perspective, where I may want to communicate with all of my 1,500 plus delegators, but. I don't have the ability to because, again, I don't know who's behind there, right. um, the wallet, et cetera. So that hopefully will give us an, an opportunity there um, in addition to other tools, for example, like Ada Mail, et cetera. Right. So uh, maybe as we close out, you can maybe give the community a heads up as to how they can get involved with Ada handles, how they can personalize and then whether or not they need to upgrade to SIP 68 in order to be able to take advantage of sub handles. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a great point. So first off, if you don't ever want to miss any information, our Twitter is the best place to find um, all of our information, that'll be at Ada Handle, A-D-A-H-A-N-D-L-E. Um, if you want to jump and dive right into the ecosystem itself, handle.me um, is our landing page. That's where you're going to be able to mint, connect your wallet, and access the whole marketplace, um, how to upgrade from SIP25 to SIP68 if you already have a handle. Um, you bring up a good point to participate even in personalization, but also subhandles. Um, your handle will have to be SIP68 compliant. So if you have a SIP25 handle, um, because you minted it, you know, two years ago, you will have to upgrade to SIP68, which are, are minimal costs like blockchain, uh, like Cardano required costs. There's nothing that we, we make no profit on that upgrade. Um, and then you'll be able to participate in, 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 in the sub handle feature that we'll have launched here in a couple of weeks. And, you know, hopefully I can come back on the show and really dive into, into it and how the process works. And, you know, you guys can see how the UI works and, and, and all that stuff. Yeah, the door's open here. Baby goose. <laughs> Re regular goose, regular goose. Uh, no, I appreciate you sitting down with me. It really means a lot. Um, yeah, it's not often that we get to sync up, but it's really good to be able to see you catch up with Conrad and also see the two developers that are actually making a lot of this come to fruition. You know, I was like, it's explaining to them how important it is for them to be out here to see how receptive people are to what you guys have built. You know, I remember when you guys first opened up the initial mint and how everybody was just minting any sort of combination that, you know, was a value, right? And how much time has gone through. I believe you guys are now over 120 or 30K, you know. Hey. We're actually we're actually close to a uh, quarter million. So we're like 248,000 around there. That goes to show how out of sync <laughs> I am, you know. Um, but I do own Handle, so I am a supporter. I do want to thank you again, Goose, for jumping on here. For either of you who are watching at home, if you guys have enjoyed any portion of today's interview, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by Dad Central and you want more information like this from all the builders here in the ecosystem, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me or Goose about the ADA handle standard, SIP68, how to convert personalization, subhandles, whatever it is, 
make sure to go ahead and leave those down below. But that said, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.